So, John, this is a really exciting moment for me because we've finally got you to come back to the Marketing Society, of which you were chairman, if I think I've got this right, in 1984-85? Yes, how old were they? They're, they're about, about, they're about, about, they're about 1984. It's a long time ago. So I remember can... when, when we were planning the 30th anniversary of our awards, mm -hmm. We looked it up and we were very excited mm. because we found that you'd actually been the chairman when they started. Indeed, indeed. But as I'm sure our other members will know, you've gone on to great things since then. You've gone way beyond marketing into the city and you've become chairman of a number of things and you're currently chairman of both Tesco and of Barrett's, the, mm -hmm. the builders. Mm -hmm. Now, the theme of the Marketing Society this year is all about being brave. Mm -hmm. So we just wondered whether you could tell us a little bit about what does being brave mean when you're sort of chairman of a PLC? Well, I think it's probably less of an issue than when you're chairman than when on the way to getting there. And yeah. I mean, I've obviously given this some thought having been asked to speak about it, but I've decided there are sort of three sorts of bravery in business. First is when you're actually a subordinate and you're challenging the status quo, and that's quite risky, and that does require real bravery. The next is when you're actually in charge of something and you make some fairly bold decision, and that's a different sort of bravery. And then least of all, when you're chairman, then you may have to challenge the management or challenge the board or challenge shareholders with whom yeah, particular decision is yeah. unpopular, which in a sense is requires less kind of courage than either of the first two. So I reckon I'm now in a stage of life where uh, the requirement to show courage is somewhat less than in the early stages of my career. And of course your current management team at Tesco have decided to go for a pretty big uh, takeover coming up soon. Yes. I mean, can you explain the sort of, you know, the logic of the logic. Logic. Yes, I can. You know, because yeah. we're in midstream, yeah. I, I have to be a bit careful about yeah. what I say. Yeah. But in essence, our yeah. focus is on the food market. Uh, one of the fastest growing pieces of the food market is food eaten out of home. Mm -hmm. And we think that de developing a strong market position, supporting people who are providing food out of home, restaurants, food change and so on, is important and you know, Booker would give us real capability to do that. It's a fine business in its own right, mm -hmm. but in addition, together with Tesco, we think there's an important growth market to, to attack. So we think the strategic logic is, is very strong. One of the things that's much in the news at the moment is um, mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had Prince Harry talking mm -hmm. about it, and actually, mm -hmm. the, I have to say that the marketing society has been quite well ahead of the curve here in the mm -hmm. sense that mm -hmm. we had a, a, an event about it just a couple of weeks ago, which was very uh, interesting, and mm -hmm. some people mm -hmm. spoke very in, in, in intensely about it. Uh, is, is that a sort of topic that's come up at, in, mm. within, within Tesco and your board meetings recently? In, indeed. I mean, you know, I think the whole health in the broadest sense, not just mental health, but we recognise that mental health is a, an important component of it and probably sort of under under recognised, under appreciated the need for supporting people in times of stress in terms of mental health. So we're on the case, but we're also on the case in terms of employee general health mm -hmm. and this week as it happens um, you know there are some very interesting uh, promotions in our stores promoting you know mm -hmm. products that are as alternatives to mainstream products that have got mm -hmm. you know less fat less sugar less salt and mm -hmm. are cheaper so because normally you have to pay a bit more for healthier alternatives we're trying to get to a situation where healthier alternatives exist but they're also uh, you know they're also economically attractive mm -hmm. too now that's a long journey We've been doing for about a year free fruit for children in stores, you know, to encourage parents when they come in with their kids rather than giving them a, you know, a, a snack bar or a chocolate or something to give them a banana or an orange or an apple. And that's also, you know, started to ring bells with, with customers that we are trying to help them do the right things by their families. Very good. Now, these days at the Marketing Society, we talk a lot about leadership, as I mm -hmm. hope you know, because we, we, we feel that marketing should always lead the business, mm -hmm. if you like, and we're very keen that all marketers should become better leaders in themselves. And putting it together with, with the, the idea about marketers being brave, one of the things about being brave is sometimes admitting your mistakes, mm -hmm. it, you know. So I just wonder if there's any sort of, uh, finally, little sort of, um, uh, perhaps it could take back to a period in your life where you felt maybe you weren't such a good leader mm -hmm. in, in your early days, oh. or, you know, sometimes oh. when you think you're your leadership might have failed? How many what? hours have we been here? <laughs> that, uh, no, the answer is I've, I'm quite self-critical and I, at many stages in my career, have felt that, you know, I have been, you know, less good than I would ideally have liked to be, 
you know, I've tried to learn from those experiences. I've recognized, you know, one of the things that took me a little while to realize was the impact that what you said, as you became a more and more senior leader, people took terribly seriously what you said. When I was young, I tended to be, you know, sort of well known for rather flip comments, which were really rather jokey and throwaway lines from me. When I discovered that people were sort of writing them down and acting on them, I realized that I had to be a little bit more careful about what I, uh, about what I said. So no, I think, you know, anyone who doesn't believe that they, uh, doesn't appreciate that they have, you know, been less than terrific as leaders at some stage in their career is self-deluding, I think. Very good. So we can all be learning all the time as, as we go. All Beautiful. the time. Very good. Very good. Well, John, thank you so much for uh, talking to us. That's been really great.